I am back with a new video. I know it has been a while. I'm so sorry about my unintentional break. The last video I filmed right after that, my planners arrived and I moved right into shipping them. And that took over a pretty significant portion of my time. I was working a ton of hours into the evenings. After the first batch of the planners went out, I had anticipated having about a week in between when the planners would restock that I could get some filming done and get all the videos out that you guys were looking forward to. But during that week, I ended up getting really sick. In fact, I didn't have a voice for those two weeks, so I couldn't have filmed even if I wanted to. So I am sorry about that but I'm back and I'm feeling much better now and thank you to everyone who sent me all of these well wishes over on Instagram you guys are really sweet and loving and you guys always make me feel so much better but as I said I'm feeling better and I'm hoping to jump right back into my filming schedule I have a lot of videos planned for those of you who have been asking for the pen recommendations video it is coming I've tested out a bunch of pens and I have a really good list of supplies that I'm really happy with and that I really want to share with you so that actually will be my next video following this one let's jump into why we are actually here in the video you guys want to see and that is talking all about the brand new novel companion volume 3 so if you follow me on my Instagram, which if you don't, you definitely should because that is where I have all of my updates and information and sneak peeks. It's where I'm the most active. So if you want to see those types of things, be sure to follow me. I will leave my handle down below, but it is at Little Inklings Design. But if you already do, you would have already seen a sneak peek of the cover of the Novel Companion Volume 3. I showed that and I also showed some of the inside pages because I was just too excited not to. So for those of you who haven't, this is the brand new cover. It is more of a pastel version. It's a little bit different than last year's. So this was last year's version. I'm really happy with this year's cover. I was quite nervous to do something so different because a lot of you really liked the previous covers but I just felt really inspired to try something new and something different. Actually matches a little bit of the inside of the book as I stuck to more of a simplified watercolor feeling for some of the pages in this book and I kind of wanted to reflect that on the cover. But anyways, yeah, so this is Novel Companion Volume 3. It is the third year that we are doing it, but it is the same layout and concept as the previous books that you guys have really loved so if you enjoyed last year's this year's is very similar in fact it's almost the exact same layout as last year but this year i just did kind of some brief little design updates and brought in some new things if you missed out on always fully booked 2020 this is a great alternative because it has a lot of the same pages as that one a lot of you have been asking me about the differences I do have a video explaining the differences between Always Fully Booked and A Novel Companion, so you can check that out. It's under five minutes, so it's really short and sweet and gets to the point, but essentially I like to say that A Novel Companion is a smaller, more condensed version than The Planner, and that's the best way to describe it. It is the same concept as The Planner in that it is supposed to help encourage your creativity, help you keep track of books, and do a little bit of bookish planning. Now, saying that Always Fully Booked includes a full dated agenda so it's a full planner it has weekly spreads and it is made to be a planner for book lovers a novel companion like i said it's a smaller more condensed version i would equate it more towards a reading journal or a reading tracker also on the same note of the differences uh, a novel companion it does not include the weekly spreads that the planner has it doesn't include the quarterly check-in pages and it also doesn't include the yearly wrap-up page it also doesn't have the uh, like monthly quotes that I designed that are in the planner so the planner has 12 monthly bookish quotes at the beginning of every month the novel companion doesn't have that it does have four of them in it but um, it doesn't have all of them. Another major difference is that a novel companion is undated, which means you can start it and finish it whenever you choose. And if you need to skip a month, you can because you're filling in the dates, you have all of the control there. So those are some of the major differences. Some of the similarities is that a novel companion still has all of the monthly tracking pages. So it has the monthly TBRs, it has the monthly new releases page, it has a monthly wrap up page, a monthly haul page, and then at the very back it has space for the book reviews. It is very similar but like I said it's undated so if you need to skip a month or if you want to start in the middle of the year you definitely can and for that reason a novel companion is sold in my store throughout the entire year. 
So it's also very similar to last year's Novel Companion as it has like essentially the exact same layout inside but some of the pages have been refreshed or updated and just minor things. I kept the same feel to the book planner um, as I wanted it to still be functional and because the Novel Companion is such a well-loved product I wanted to keep that going. So it's just kind of got a little bit of a facelift, but I think you guys are going to really like some of the changes. Last year we launched Volume 2 in January, and I really wanted to try and get this year's out a little bit earlier than that. I'm really happy I was able to do that. The Novel Companion Volume 3 will be launching Monday, December 16th at 10 a.m. on my website. I will leave a link in the description to my shop. For those of you who have been asking if they're going to sell out and how many are available, I did order quite a few of them more than I normally do. Sometimes products are there for weeks, sometimes they're there for a day. But I will say that if a Novel Companion does happen to sell out this restock, it will be restocked. I sell a Novel Companion throughout the entire year, so there will be lots of opportunities for you to get your hands on one. The next restock won't happen until the new year, so it won't be until January, just because of when the holidays fall this year. It, and I am taking uh, a few days off over the holidays to celebrate Christmas and my birthday. As I said, it will restock in the new year, so even if it does sell out, then it will be available again, so don't worry. Anyways, long spiel over. I don't want this video to be a million years long, so we're gonna jump right into the flip through so you can see what's inside. Okay, so here is the Novel Companion Volume 3. As I said, we did a pastel gradient cover this year with some geometric shapes on it, um, but let's just get a look at what's inside. So the first page is the This Book Belongs To page, then we have the Goals page, and a quote. This quote came from the 2020 Always Fully Booked Planner. The Goals page is pretty much the same as last year's, it just has a different background. And then we move into the Blank Bookshelf page. It has enough room for 80 books in it. In my experience, there are a lot of you who aren't able to fill up the bookshelf page in the planner and maybe the printable that I offer is not enough spots. So this is kind of in the middle so the printable holds enough room for 60 and the planner holds enough for 115 and so this one is for 80. So this is kind of a like middle of the road average number of books that some people read in a year. After that we move into the challenges page which has the A to Z challenge. This is very similar to the one that was in the previous Novel Companion, just the background is different and I updated the letters a little bit. These are the two new smaller reading challenges. I put these reading challenges in the 2020 Always Fully Booked Planner. A lot of you were asking if they would be in the Novel Companion, so I was really happy to bring those two over. You may notice, if you did see the flip through of the planner, that the big reading challenge isn't in this one, and that's because that challenge was made specifically with 2020 in mind, and because this is an undated journal, I didn't feel like I could include a dated version. I will be releasing that challenge as maybe a printable or I'll do something on my Instagram where you can still follow along with it. Next we have the movies page and TV. This is the exact same layout as the one that's in the new planner. Then we go into the books to read. Again, this is what is in the 2020 planner. You'll probably hear me say that a lot in this flip through and the fact that it's very similar to what I've done in the past except it has the updated rating system. That's something new we added this year to the planner and I really wanted to bring it over to the Novel Companion as well. So there are three pages of the books to read checklist in here. Next we have a quote page. This is from the planner um, and I paired it with one of the coloring pages. Then we move into the favorite quotes page. These are brought right over from the planner, so again, the exact same thing. Then we get into the book series tracker, and we've paired it with another quote from the planner. Then we get into the wish list page. Then we have the five star reads page and the second coloring page. Then we get into the month. So this is where it differs a little bit from the planner, but it still has a really similar feel. So this year with the Novel Companion, we have briefly changed the layout of the calendar. It's still very, very, very similar, but there are minor updates. The calendar and the page is a little bit cleaner, crisp, a little bit more modern. So we have a watercolor at the top. Every month we'll have a different color scheme. 
we did keep that the same, a little more subdued. So we just have room here for you to write the title of the month and you can fill in the dates here. So this very open-ended, you can use the blank calendar however you want. I've seen it used a lot of different ways. Some people use it for scheduling their posts. Some people like to track when they're reading and they'll like mark if they started a book on Sunday and they'll have a line go to Friday if that's how long they read it. And they like color coordinate all the different books so they can see when they're reading what. So a lot of different ways you can use this calendar. And at the top here, we just have a bookish quote. After the blank calendar, we move into the TBR and new releases page. Little Easter egg dates here that correspond with fun literary dates have been updated to the ones that I selected for this year. And then I just simplified the table here to be a little bit cleaner and crisper and less lines. So it frees up some space. Then we move into the wrap up and the bookish haul. I kind of kept the same watercolor feel going on and again the same color scheme to signify that it is in the same month. This wrap up is the exact same as what's in the planner. Same prompts and everything and it's just been like very very slightly updated from what was in the previous novel companion. Then we just move in to all of the months so I'll just kind of show you a couple of them. There's room for 12 months in the Novel Companion and it will go through the same repeating pages and then at the very end, after all of the months, there's room for your book reviews. So the book review pages reflect the changes that we brought to the 2020 planner in that we added the number of pages and the format and the would you recommend. So those are new to this year's Novel Companion. This Novel Companion has room for 120 book reviews. After the reviews, there is one last bookish quote and then there are some note pages and then following the note pages there are a couple pages with a blank dot grid and then that is the end. So that is a look at the brand new Novel Companion Volume 3. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the flip through. I hope you guys like this new version. As I said, it's not that different from last year's but it does have some fun little upgrades and it's kind of just been refreshed. As I said, it is undated. You can start it whenever you want. And if you did miss out on Always Fully Booked, it is an awesome alternative to that one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And you can hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I do post so that you don't miss any videos. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a awesome day today.